Hello, my name is Shannon Flynn and I'm interested in the full-time position at Glenbard West. I'm currently student teaching at Maine West High School in Des Plaines where they've implemented an integrative curriculum. So I've been able to kind of maneuver through that. I teach Math 3, Math 3 Compression and Foundations of Problem Solving classes. So I teach freshmen, sophomore and juniors and a couple of seniors. I've also had some experience down in Champaign where I went to college doing some more generic Algebra 2, um, ELL Algebra 2 pre-calculus classrooms for juniors, sophomores, and seniors. Um, so those are my years of experience. Um, my primary motivation for teaching is to have positive impact on students. Um, my own personal high school experience was really great because my teachers were excellent role models, made me realize that I had potential, made me realize that I can be good at math and I can be good at other subjects. Um, and I just want to give back and show the young, younger generation the same thing that they are, they have potential and they can succeed um, and that I believe in them. Um, another key reason is that I am very passionate um, in mathematics and I really think that I know a lot of students think math is dull and boring and as a math teacher I'm really excited to kind of shift that mindset and find new and fun exciting ways for them to think of math as more of a fun um, not so challenging, but something that's really fun and something that they actually look forward to coming to class. Um, and also I really love the dynamic, um, kind of aspect of teaching. There's always something to be, um, changed. There's always something evolving. I love staying up to date on new initiatives and new practices and being able to really adapt and refine my learning and my teaching philosophy and just keep growing and learning and trying new things each day. Um, one aspect of teaching that came naturally to me was having good rapport with students and creating those meaningful relationships. Um, I am a very positive person and I am very organized and I have a continual improvement mindset. So those are the, some of the things that came naturally to me when I started my stu student teaching experience. Um, something that did not come naturally, I will say, was um, classroom management at first. Um, I had a problem really um, stepping up and telling students to change their behavior and throughout the semester it's been a goal of mine to be more confident in that aspect and I think um, I'm heading towards the end of my student teaching experience right now and I think I've achieved that goal. I feel much more confident having those discussions with students and really creating an environment where all students feel respected and all students are want to stay on task and want to be engaged in the lesson each day. Um, one memorable student that I had this semester um, it was in one of my math three classes. Um, he is a junior. He is not planning on going to the into the college track. He is going into trades and he is always cheating his way through the practices that we do in class. And at Maine West, we only grade summative assessments. So none of the formative assessments and homework that day, they, they do count as a grade. So this student um, didn't focus, didn't do his homework, didn't um, do any, take part in any of these formative assignments because they didn't count as a grade. And because of this, he was a disruption to, his, to other students in the class um, and he would kind of get other students off task, which was really challenging to deal with. So what I did to change this was I had an individual conversation with him and I talked about the ways that what he was doing, why I was being disruptive. And I asked him why to get a better or better understanding of why he was doing this during class every day. And he actually really opened up to me and explained, you know, why, why he was being disruptive, why he didn't want to practice. And he actually, one of the things he said was that he's not confident in math and he doesn't want to write anything down because he's embarrassed that he might get something wrong. And because I had this individual conversation with him and I was able to understand why he was doing the things that he was doing and it was confidence, I was able to in really ensure that I was able to give him that confidence and make sure that he knew that I actually cared about him as a person and I wanted to help him reach his potential. And we kind of had a meaningful re relationship after that. He apologized to me at the end of class for being on his phone and cheating through the review material. And ever since that, he showed up the next day. He was more engaged. Um, when I was circulating the room, he was asking questions. He began coming to office hours after school. And we really started to have a really meaningful and a closer relationship. And we built that kind of respect together.